Hey now, it's your girl T, aka the Nappy Headed Jehovah, and today is a foundation test slash first impression slash review ish type thing because I probably won't revisit it. Ulta recently had one of their 20% off coupons, which I always take advantage of. It's pretty much the only time I buy bougie makeup. And for whatever reason, I was just feeling a lot of Becca things this time around, so I picked up a few things. I picked up the Becca Aqua Luminous Foundation, which is by no means a new foundation. This came out last year, and I remember pretty much every single beauty YouTuber was doing videos on this foundation, uh, very mixed reviews across the board, particularly if you have oily skin, which I do. But for some reason, I was still really intrigued by it. Even though I have to be mad -a tat tat when I'm on camera at work, I like to have radiant skin in real life. Very luminous, very glowy if I'm going to go down the route of actually wearing any makeup. I've had my eye on this foundation since it came out and I am sometimes a bandwagon jumper, sometimes not. This time I was not and I decided to bide my time. And I finally picked it up during this sale and I also picked up the concealer uh, that came out with it, the Aqua Luminous Perfecting Concealer. I got both in the shade Tan which based on the name tan, I would have assumed would not be dark enough for my skin, but they're both a pretty good match. And then I also picked up one product that actually is new. This is the Becca Soft Light Blurring Powder in the shade Golden Hour. I picked this up because it puts me in the mind of the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders or the Guerlain Meteorites, both of which I have, love, and use. Even though a lot of people have been complaining that this is quite a bit less product than you would get with, say, the Laura Mercier setting powder, the translucent setting powder. It's a different type of thing. It's a different type of product with a different aim. The translucent setting powder is just that a setting powder, whereas this is, I think, more of a finishing powder, which generally are just buffed over your skin after you finish all of your other makeup to give you a softer look and just kind of blend everything together. For me to have a less expensive option than, say, Guerlain Meteorites is definitely worth investigating. I have all of those products on my face right now, and I also primed with the Becca Backlight Priming Filter, which I had before all these. I purchased these in another Ulta 20% off sale. Sometimes last fall in the fall of 2016. I had originally first gotten like one of those little sachet sample packets of this assuming I wouldn't like it because again I have oily skin but this just does such a nice job of giving you that sort of glowy base where you can either go on top with foundation which is what I did today or this is something that I would realistically wear by itself like on a no makeup day if I just wanted to give myself a little boost. I would totally just wear this by itself. So I have to use this only at certain times. Again, I can't use it if I know I'm putting on makeup to go to work, if I'm gonna be on camera that day. But I can use this if I know I'm just going to be filming myself at home because I do a much better job of using daylight basically to film myself and making sure that I don't look like I belong at Madame Tussauds. In any event, here's a demo just so you can see what my skin looks like after I've done all of my skincare, sunscreen, all that stuff. Then over top of the sunscreen, I primed with the Becca Backlight Priming Filter, and that was sort of my starting point before I went in with the Aqua Luminous Foundation. Pardon me for looking crazy with having eye makeup on and nothing else, but that is generally how I start my makeup is with the eyes because of fallout. We're gonna get through this together. I just took a little bit of the foundation and put it directly on the Beauty Blender, which I've usually been against because I feel like you don't have as much control in terms of how much foundation you're actually putting on your face. I usually used to put foundation right on my hand and then take it from there and apply it where I want, but I'm kind of sick of that creating so many stains and messes because I'll forget it's there and then it just gets on clothing or on furniture or whatever. So lately I've been doing it this way and it's actually been not too bad. And just so you can see, here's a side by side of what I was looking with, with just my skincare on, you know, up through my sunscreen and then the Becca backlight primer next to one layer of the foundation and tan I don't think I've ever done more than one layer of foundation but just as a reference point then after the foundation was on I went in with the luminous perfecting concealer under my eyes on my lady mustache and just around here where I tend to have my worst hyperpigmentation blended that out with the beauty blender blusher which by the way should have been in my underrated 
products that don't get enough love on YouTube because I really love this smaller beauty blender. I feel like it's a better size than the beauty blender mini. I really love it for blending out concealer and I don't think I've ever actually used it for what it's named for, which is blush. Then I went ahead and finished the rest of my complexion makeup and drew on some eyebrows. Here's a side by side of how I was looking with no foundation versus the Becca foundation and the concealer. And here's a side by side of how I was looking with just the Becca foundation versus the foundation and the concealer. And then after all that was done, I went in with this Becca soft light blurring powder, which I guess the idea is that you put this on your face and you look like you have an Instagram filter on IRL. Here's a side by side of how I was looking with my face done before applying the powder and then after. I don't think it does quite what the Hourglass or Guerlain powders do, but it's early yet. I just finished my face. I added some lips and uh, I'm about to go run a couple errands. So my plan is to check back in a couple hours and we'll see what's doing. I feel like it looks pretty nice on camera, but I'm not really loving the foundation close up in real life. I feel like it definitely looks like foundation without even offering a ton of coverage, oddly enough. There's just something going on where it looks a little bit uh, patchy or just sitting on top of the skin. I can't quite put my finger on it. So we will see about that. But so far I am liking the concealer and the powder well enough and I already liked the primer from before. Let's hit up a dissolve here or a fade to white and I'll be right back uh, in a few hours. Super quick check-in. I've had the foundation on maybe three and a half to four hours now. I actually am kind of loving it. Something about the way it's sort of like meshed into the skin after sitting on there for a little while, I started liking how it looked a lot more than I did when it was first applied. I will say it looks a little bit cakey in the areas where I layered concealer on top and then the powder on top of that. So around my mouth and chin area where I'm trying to cover up my lady mustache, which is well overdue and in need of a waxing. And then down here where I have hyperpigmentation, I find it looks a little bit thick or cakey considering I feel like this is a very lightweight foundation, but overall on my cheeks and just on the rest of my face I feel like it looks really nice in person now and it doesn't have that look of just sort of like sitting on top of the skin and not quite meshing. So so far so good. It did wear off a little bit on my chin which I blame on the dog because Ray Ray likes to make out. She will lick you in your face until you tell her to stop. True story the very first time I picked her up and brought her to my face she legit licked my teeth. So yeah, she did uh, catch me in the chin there, so there is sort of a hole in the foundation there, but I blame the dog. But that does sort of speak to the foundation transferring slash wearing off relatively easier because just one quick little lick that she got in before I pushed her away. <laughs> but I wanted to get this check in because this is the last one I'll be able to do with daylight. You know, it's already in the afternoon now, so it, you know, I'm not going to be able to do any more check-ins without artificial light from here on out. So yeah, you can see how it's looking. I do look rather radiant on my cheeks and in the center of my forehead on camera, but in real life, I feel like it doesn't look excessively shiny. It looks very glowy for sure. It looks more glowy than just a satin finished foundation would most likely, but I feel like it looks really nice. When I looked in the mirror, I had run out to run some errands prior to this check-in, and I feel like when I looked in my car's rear view mirror, for example, I was really, really pleased with how this made my skin look. It just looked so fresh-faced and youthful, which is what I'm going for, baby. So let me just scoot in a little bit closer so you guys can get a little bit more of a look. Again, sorry for the changes in lighting because even before in some of the close-ups, the lighting was changing a lot, I know, because the sun kept going behind clouds, but this should at least give you an idea of what we're working with. This is around three and a half, four hours of wear. So, so far for this foundation, one and a half thumbs up, something like this. So far I like it, but we'll see how it looks after a few more hours. This is my final check-in and here is how my face is looking. As you can see, I'm quite shiny in the forehead and on my cheeks. If I look in my mirror here, I also look shiny. For shits and giggles, let's just see what happens if I take some more of this Becca powder and touch up. Touching up is not a thing that I normally do, but I feel like for the sake of this uh, test drive of these various products, let's do it.
Now in real life, if I look at my face in the mirror after powdering with that same Becca powder and nothing else, really just down the center of my face, I feel like I would feel confident and comfortable facing the world like this. On camera, I feel like I still look a bit more shiny than I might want to in real life. But mind you, this is with having a big ring light in front of my face, and I've also positioned myself so that I'm against the white door of my closet to help bounce light into this video so that you can actually see what I'm looking like right now. But the fact of the matter is when I look at myself in a mirror and see myself live and in person, I'm pretty pleased with how my skin looks. I think the one takeaway slash caveat is that I need to be careful with how much concealer I use slash powder because it can look cakey in those areas. But overall, if I'm very light-handed with the amount of foundation I use and the concealer and the dusting of this powder on top to finish everything, it looks really good. It just makes it look like I have amazing skin. I feel like this combination of primer, foundation, concealer, and powder is a good one for me. I apologize for the slurring. I am slightly turned up at this point in the night. It's not necessarily the most long lasting, but it's one that I really like for just wearing out in the real world and feeling good about how my skin looks. I'm not a person who takes a ton of pictures. The word selfie makes me want to jump out of a window. To reiterate, and in case it was not clear, nothing here is sponsored. I purchased all of these with my own money, although I did use a discount because that's how I roll. and. I'm pretty happy with all these products. I don't see any returns on these in my near future. While I do feel like this looks a lot harsher in my ring light now that it's been on for several hours and now that I've got quite a bright light shining directly in my face, I think it looks quite nice in person and it has looked quite nice the entire eight or so hours that I've been wearing it. In fact, it looked nicer after it kind of settled into my skin than it did when it was first applied. I'm slightly annoyed because I was hoping to hate this so that I could return it. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here because I am thoroughly turned and I wanna keep turning because it's my Saturday night and I wanna keep it going. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know that my beauty videos don't really get as much love as my other ones, but if anything, it just makes me love those of you who still watch the beauty videos. So thank you for sticking with me to the end. That will do it for this video, but thanks so much for watching. If you guys are interested in seeing me do any first impressions like this one on some of the other foundations I picked up in that Ulta order, because I did pick up a couple more, let me know and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. That's, that's a nappy-headed hose there, I'm going to tell you that now. <laughs>